Hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 21, verse 33 to 36. Let me read it. If a man opens a pit or digs a pit and does not cover it over, and an ox or a donkey falls into it, the owner of the pit shall make restitution. He shall give money to its owner, and the dead animal shall become his. If one man's ox hurts another's so that it dies, then they shall sell the live ox and divide its price equally, and also they shall divide the dead ox. Or, if it is known that the ox was previously in the habit of goring, yet its owner has not confined it, he shall surely pay ox for ox, and the dead animal shall become his. So again, we're applying the law, we're trying to apply it in a way that's fair, and uh, I've got a little note from Hamilton's commentary on Exodus. Verses 33 and 34 separate the law about an ox that kills a human from an ox that kills another ox, rather than running them together to show that in, in the biblical way of thinking, the taking of human life is far more critical than the taking of any other form of life. Page 392, 393, uh, and I might have paraphrased a line or two there, a word or two there, but um, basically what we're saying here is that in between this, it's set up so that it makes a difference between a person being killed and an animal being killed. People are of higher uh, value than animals. Uh, God doesn't love them any less, but there's just kind of a hierarchy of value. Uh, an ant is less valuable to you, a little tiny, you know, ant, uh, less valuable to you, I'm sure, than uh, a chicken or a goat or a cow. So there's an ascending uh, grade of value, and the human is the most valuable of all because only the humans are made in God's image. Today, what do we have around us? Uh, we have the One Health Initiative that's coming up. I'm gonna do, uh, talk to you in a video about that one of these days. Uh, this is kind of the mixing of humans, climate, and animals all together, putting it all under one authority, gonna study it all together, find the science. We're gonna take care of food security. It puts everything in one in one blob so that they're all under control of some governmental uh, people who think they're gonna figure it out and, and, and control us with that. Uh, yeah, it does kind of make sense. That's all put together, but it puts humans on the same level as the ants. And in the Bible, God puts humans on a level above all the other animals because we alone are made in his image. We alone have that moral capacity. Other animals and things, they feel, they have emotions. That's, that's valuable and important. And uh, it doesn't mean we would demean animals, but the fact is that God has called us. God is, only humans are made more like God than any other creature. So uh, God is calling us to higher things. And we, if we lose that distinction between not only the creator and the creatures, but within the creatures, the distinction between the creatures that are made in God's image and the creatures that are not made in God's image, we're going to lose a lot. So here, this is a piece of that right here. All right, friends, looking here, and we've finished chapter 21. Let's go on into chapter 22 tomorrow morning and carry right on because there's very interesting business coming right up. God bless you.